Hi everybody, it's me and I'm at Romantic Times Convention and I'm here with Sharif 14 who is not over not only a fabulous cover model, he's a wonderful guy and I haven't seen him since 2000, and 2000. it's been a long time, I'm wonderful. Yeah, it's been way too long. So tell me what you've been doing. Well, um, I'm still illustrating books, um, which is great. And, uh, illustrating also... books, illustrating books, can you see this? See, this is Sharif, and who is who are you with there? Uh, that's a model named Bethany uh, Orbison, and this is actually one of the um, paintings that was used in our illustrated romance novel, Passion's Blood. Passion's Blood, which is yes. this big um, this big banner behind us. I don't know if you can see it, but be, what, tell me what's really exciting about Passion's Blood. Well, you know, Passion's Blood was originally published in 99, published again in around 2005 or 6, I think, and now it's out for the third time as an interactive app for the iPad. An interactive app for the iPad. That means it's going to move for you when you read it. Okay, Sharif, here's Passion's Blood. Why don't you tell us about it? Sure. So this is, uh, as you said, this is Passion's Blood. It's uh, one of the interactive apps that uh, um, my business partner Lynn and I illustrated and co-authored. And it's available uh, through Medallion Press on iTunes. And that's um, you on the cover, isn't that it? That happens to be me, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I had a little crossover as an illustrator <laughs> and a cover model for a while. So i am um, lucky enough to have uh, been featured in this as a model as well. But um, And you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> no. no, I know you're lying for your uh, oh, audience's <laughs> sake, but stop. thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, so tell us. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> like, uh, like, in, like other eBooks that are available, you know, you have the, the page turning ability. But what's different about you this? Look at that! Yeah, Passion's Blood was originally um, an illustrated book, um, and this time what's different is that the illustrations are brought alive using digital technology. So, uh, in this case, it's animation, and there's also sound. Sorry, I'm crossing over your, That's okay. uh, your lens there, but you can hear the ambient sounds. There's there's battle noises in the background. In some cases, there's music. And you hear the fire? Yeah, you hear the fire. I'm bringing the camera close so you can hear, guys. I'm sorry to. The reflections on the water. Yeah, and, that's you know, amazing. All this is designed to make the reader's experience that much, that much better, that much yeah. more, much more intense. Yeah, yeah that's more what vivid. we're trying to do, right? And so uh, I'm going to bounce around a little bit because I, I just want to show you some of the different um, pieces of art that have been brought to life in different ways. And the interactivity when oh, you touch, beautiful. when you touch the screen, you can see that the leaves appear and fall from from wow. the vines. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. Yeah. So there's, oh. you know, some some are more oh. subtle um, effects than others, but I don't know if you can hear. Okay, that one doesn't have the uh, music feature on. Oh, I do hear the music, but I don't know if we'll be able to capture it. Yeah. And uh, here's continuing with the preview. So you can, Oops. well, having that um, table of contents is pretty wonderful too. It helps a lot. It remembers where you leave off, like other books, but you have the ability to bounce in and out. Oh wow, that's some character. Is he the bad guy or is he? Yeah, this is the bad guy. He looks like he's been having a hard time. Yeah, he's battle weary for sure. He was on uh, the metal jousting. Yeah, this the uh, model's name is Patrick Lamke, and recently he's been featured on a National Geographic documentary about jousting. Oh, so Patrick Lampke? Patrick Lampke, yeah. This, seeing him in armor is pretty much true to form. For oh, that's him. very <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah, you, you, um, you also performed in uh, Medieval Times, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yeah, I spent 12 years jousting and sword fighting for Medieval Times. Wow, look Made at this. Made a lot of good friends there. Patrick was one of those friends I'm talking about. He's a great guy. So you can see the animation. In this case, it's uh, we're using it to make the, the image of the splashing water more believable. There's some 3D motion going on in there. That's beautiful. And uh, yeah, I wish I could get on an image here that has, I think you can hear the splashing. Yeah, it, but I don't know if it's going to pick up. Yeah, we're in a very crowded room, so it's kind yeah, of tough to... Yeah, it's very noisy. But uh, yeah, there it is. So in this case, it's another take at, um, at Passion's Blood in uh, oh, cutting-edge technology. Oh, I hear the music. Very, very cool. There's a full soundtrack, and uh, oh, that's it wonderful. comes in and out. Yeah, it comes in and out with the various chapters. As we talk here, I'll turn it down, but it'll come in and out in the various scenes and, and uh, different songs for different moods. You know, the romantic music is is soft and sweeping. The battle music is kind of like a hard charging rhythm kind of thing. So we're very proud of it. I think it's pretty. Uh, that's okay. pretty cool, and it's, I think it's an indicator of things to come in publishing. I really do. Oh, it's very clear. Well, congratulations. I'm going to post this right away, too. Awesome. That's great. Thanks. See you around. <laughs> Bye.